what I've got. Like I say, I don't have the hinges on here yet, but I do want to try it out today. So I'm going to fill this up with these bags of sawdust I have here. So again, let's say this is empty right now. Putting in the center piece that will be pulled out. Focus down there. So you can see a close-up of that. I've uh, pounded down the sawdust fairly tightly, leaving just enough on the top layer to be able to put some vermiculite in. I haven't used these chips before. I've always used sawdust chips, or sawdust. These were actually sawmill chips when I had the mill inside the garage here. Get the vermiculite on, and then we'll pull so the, the vermiculite. You can still get in the garden center. And what it is is a mineral, a non-flammable mineral. You can see, I'm just putting it on the top here. Now I don't need to put new on every time. I just take the ashes and the vermiculite and put it over again and again and again. So all the ashes that will end up at the bottom you can dump out in a pail and put right back on top of your next load of sawdust. So now if I have that tamped down good enough I should be able to pull this out. of the sawdust in there with the vermiculite on top. And you can see the flames have died down a little bit. And down inside, I don't know if you can see the orange glow. It's starting to rain, so I'm going to get the cover thrown on this and see if this will go ahead and draft. Like I say, it's been going about five minutes, getting a nice glow up that whole entire tube and that's exactly what I want. Yes, it's wonderful Washington weather. And what I'm looking for is if I have any smoke coming out of that stack. That stuff's burning so clean though I don't really see anything. It was, wasn't any smoke coming off of it when it was just coming out the hole. Let's quick, take a quick look. Oh yeah, we're still burning. Just getting a good draft. Yep, it's warm on top. Obviously I've got wind blowing the heat away, but I just want to get that thing lit off, burning, and burn some paint off. Easier than sanding. Well, I don't know if you can see it or not. There's uh, smoke coming off it. It's been burning for an hour. I think that's probably paint. Definitely hot. Let's take a look inside. Oh yeah. We're going red. But it's uh, definitely got bit of smoke coming off. Like I said, I think maybe some paint might be burning.
smoke is a good thing, though. I know this isn't all that hot, but, oh, well, maybe it is. But it is heating up that water also. Loving that. I'm just kind of doing a touch, and that's uh, very warm there. Got a little bit of smoke coming up out the back here, which I don't have a gasket. Probably what I'll do is put a stove gasket under that. Chimney, it's nice and cool. The second chamber, I can feel a little warm. definitely can put your hand on this. It's warm, but not hot, hot. Yes, it, it can be hot. Then up top here, obviously. Yeah, we're just some water on top. This is a great cooker, like I say. It has been running uh, two hours now. I'll get you over here and I'll look down inside. Oh, yeah. Still cooking away there. Well, we're smoking pretty good right now, and it is at the two and Two hours and 45 minute mark. Obviously, I got a little bit of smoke coming out around here, too. We talked about that. It's glowing down there. Looking good. I figure I got about another hour. And I think it's still hot. Oh yeah, it's still hot. Having that flame down a little bit lower though. Now we're at the four hour mark. I wanted to come out and take a look. Oh yeah. We're getting near the end now. Things have dropped down right along the edge. It's working perfect. It's burning all of that sawdust. That's what I want. I think the only improvement I can make right now is take that inner tube, that inner can, cut another one and add about four inches, maybe five inches to it, get it closer to the top. And the only reason for that is the closer to the top it is, the more heat I'll get. I didn't get the pot of water boiling on top. So the little bit closer it'll uh, definitely heat up that top a lot. Yeah, okay, it's the next day now. I wanted to see what it looks like inside, whether everything burnt. By golly, it does look like everything burnt out of there. Got my vermiculite sitting right there, waiting to be recharged again. Looks like everything is nice and black inside there. That's good. So here's my inner tube, and you can see it does have some smoking on it. That barrel was nice and fairly clean inside. It has a good coating of tar. The only thing I want to do is add about two inches, three inches to this can here by cutting another one and adding on a piece so I get the flame up closer to the burner. Get a little bit more heat that way before it drops over. Well I have moved the uh, stove inside the shop and it's going up and into the aluminum and up and out. So we got good fire in it right now. Obviously, it's hot. Did you 
go inside. This has been going a little over an hour. We're just glowing red right down the center. Now here we are at a couple hours. And it's still getting hot. Let's take a look inside here. Well, a quick update. I have sanded off the paint that was on the top there. I don't know why it's so pitted. I guess that's the metal I chose. But I'm making a hinge here. I could have made some fancy thing that lifted up and on and out and everything. And I'm going, you know what? It's a keep it simple stupid day. So that's what I'm making for the hinge. I'll show you the so ring. You I see here I've cut about uh, three and a half inches out. been able to put it right on top just because I cut the other one to the inside. Everything will just set right on there snugly. Either I'll leave it that way or I'll tack weld it on, but until I know whether it's too close to the top or not, I'll just leave it like that. Having it that close to the uh, top will get more heat to it. I was able to boil water on the two tin, uh, two popcorn tin sawdust stove I made. This one is a little bit too far from the metal, so we'll try this before we make things permanent. Oh, you know I'm the happiest when I can do some welding. Well, sometimes you just got to get the big stuff out. Now I've got the hinge welded on and adjusted. I did put a bar down the back just for a little bit of support for that. And it comes up and stays up. So that is meant to stop it from going over into the exhaust any farther. I don't think I need to put any counterweighting on it. But fast and easy. Keep it simple, stupid. I've got it recharged. Got the ashes and the vermiculite on top. I have the extender ring on it. And I put a magnet up here to hold the door up. Just one less thing to have to worry about. Take my magic fluid and squirt it down around the inside there. A little on my stick. That's the way I've been uh, lighting it rather than having some kind of a uh, cage in there to hold little sticks up, what you would call smalls, I guess. Let's see if we can get you in there without burning anything up. You see it's uh, lit down the side a little ways, not all the way down to the bottom. This is normal for it lighting up. Well, I think it was a negative wind. I had the door open down over here, which was uh, causing a low pressure in the shop because it was blowing from the front door there. And it just come puffing out of here. I closed, opened up the big shop door and had smoke going out the chimney then. But you can see I am going to need a gasket on top here to seal that off a little bit better. It is smoking a little bit. We are going red down the center though. We're getting a lot of smoke. I think it's 
uh, the wind today. You hear that? That's success. That means uh, what I did uh, is uh, work to make that kettle get hot. It's a hissing away. Let's take a look at the fire there. Oh yeah, we got good fire. Coming right up the center there, right where I had the pot. We're going to have some hot water. I just want to get me a pot of coffee ready to perk on that. So, does that get hot enough to make coffee? Look at the uh, ring on top. Definitely hotter. Oh, yeah. I'd say coffee's on. Yeah, well, we got to paint this thing today, but it did burn down all the way last night. There's about uh, two knuckles worth uh, that I added on of this ring. And uh, it brought the flame up high enough that it made a nice rainbow on the metal. So I'm just going to take this thing out and sand it down so I can paint. 